Hey, what's up, everyone? So this is gonna be Isle of War. And if you noticed, um... In a random quick match, for some reason you get Isle of War way more than other maps. I don't know why. But you just do. And if you notice, I'm the right side in Isle of War. And, um... One way to tell that it's Isle of War, uh, before the game even starts, I mean, as soon as the game starts, before you even scout it with one dog, is, um... If you scroll to the uh, middle of the screen, you hear burning buildings, and then you know it's Isle of War. See, the buildings are on fire a little bit. And also, um, if you scroll to the um, right, um, the right side is closer to the edge of the map. So, if you're on the right side, um, I think, I'm pretty sure it's the right side, um, you scroll to the right and you know it's, a, it's Isle of War because it's so close to the edge. And right, right here, we actually didn't do the build right. Um, you, if you stretch as far as you could stretch, you could get the first War Factory up there. And for some reason, I didn't do it right. So, I mean, not a big deal. I just put it down real quick anyway, so I don't lose any time. And I, I guess my um, drone got shot or whatever. Because I wanted to scout. I don't really have a good scouting right now. It doesn't look like. I'm gonna get the gems first as usual. Actually, I could get um, one one over there because the gems are gonna run out so like relatively quickly. So I could keep one miner on the yellow patch for now. Now I was trying to stretch over there. I'm like, oh my god, I. I didn't stretch my build's not good in this this game, but build doesn't really matter too much. I mean, it matters li a little bit, but I mean, I just gotta move my NCV later, make up for it. Because I don't, I can't see anything, and you can't stretch. See how the um the the hill is? You can only stretch when the hill is a long way. You can see more of the hill. You can only stretch up and down, but when the hill is the um way where you go, when you're looking kind of like downward. You can't stretch up or down in the hills. I, I don't know if I explained it right, but let's see how I can't stretch where that power plant is on the top power plant. I can't stretch up, but if I built below that hill, I'd be able to stretch up with my build order. And notice how my miners on the right side um are mining. Um, I want to make sure they don't get shot. They're about to get shot because um he will put one miner on the downhill and kill it. And I actually should have had two tanks right there. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not playing right this game, I guess. But you know, I'm not perfect. I mean, sometimes it's like you just like play and you don't really try and you're not even thinking. I, don't know. I see. Look, and then there, that shouldn't have happened. <laughs> it almost got killed. It was one shot from being killed. What a retard I am. Okay, now I'm gonna stretch up here. So this is not one of my better games. Building. And I gotta leave one miner down there because I think I could um I think I could mine a little bit before um and I did not did, I don't know if I seen this I don't think I seen this V3s at all they're just coming out of nowhere look I didn't have a flag truck or a flag cannon I'm about to get messed up here so I'm gonna lose time if I get messed up I might be able to block it let's see if I can block it but my um V3s had to be in front of the I mean my flag trucks had to be in front of the V3 not behind it. Because if you're behind it, you know, you're not getting too much of a good um, blockage with your flag trucks. Always be in front of the missile that you block and not behind the missile that you're trying to block. Same thing in real life, too, you know what I mean? Or if they're trying to block missiles from, like, you know, terrorists or something. You gotta be in front of the missile. And, like, he just te terror drone my oil because I didn't have a sentry gun there. So he was all right up and... So I'm gonna make a fast lab, but notice how, um... He didn't make V3, so he just slowed me down a little bit by forcing me to make flag trucks, but not too much. And I, oh, see, and I'm being a retard. I should just. No, I'm gonna uh, make a power plant, and I'm putting the power plant up here because um, I kind of think it's gonna get shot down there. But I'm worried, a little bit worried about a dreadnought, but not too worried because I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for navy before him. And he's gonna do the same thing. Now that and I see it this time, but I'm just gonna shoot it with my other flag. Oh, and I didn't. I must have not shot it. Good enough. So now, now I'm actually making the mistake of I'm a little bit behind. I lost my air defense. I think I have a flag. I have a flag cannon. You can't see it though. It's right behind the war factory. I'm pretty sure. Um, 
I, I gotta sell that. Yeah, I, I th kind of thought it wasn't gonna kill it, so I disrepaired instead. I was really stu stupid, but um, I'm gonna put the iron curtain up here. Because if you attack, if something goes wrong, um, I could just camp into hell. I notice how I'm doing too many things at once right now. Um, as this is probably like two in the morning, I was or something. I don't know, but I made a kick off, made a lab, made an iron curtain. Now he does. He he probably doesn't have a lab. I don't know because I can't see. But he did, he did spend some money in B2, he does have some desolators. So, I mean, he should technically be ahead of me if he's building properly. His army should be bigger than me, if you think about the logic. Um, now, he's gonna attack, but I'm thinking, oh, I got the downhill advantage, I'm not scared of him. But for some reason, my Kirov, um, I was trying to force fire at him, and I was I don't know if I was in range or not, but I didn't have time to um, mess around. And I was like, oh, I'm just gonna sell his war factory and camp on the top, I'll be okay. I should have never made this cure if I should have made more base defenses. Um, I probably shouldn't have even made an iron curtain too fast. So, okay, like, he, the, the, the labs are always the first thing to go, so you want to get rid of that. And now, you know, the iron curtain's wearing down, but like, he's right in my face, and I'm probably... It's going to be hard to get, I got to hope that I get the iron curtain off in time. So I'm rushing the Iron Curtain and rushing the Navy and the Kirov at the same time. Not a good idea. I should have just um, made the Iron, maybe not made the Kirov at least. But I was trying to surprise him. I was trying to surprise him with the Kirov. I should have just focused on making a big army rather than trying to surprise him. And not even made the Navy yard. I should have maybe made more sentry guns. And I didn't really have the bridge secured. I really didn't. I thought I did, but I didn't. And I thought the Kirov would um. But for some reason, they drove right past the Kirov because he's slow. They kind of just basically just dodged the Kirov, and I thought I was going to be able to um, block the bridge and shoot downhill and basically get a navy and just basically dominate him. I, was, I thought, but you can't dominate them in too many ways at once. You either want to try to win with your Iron Curtain, win with your navy, or with your army, one at a time. If you try to do all, all three things, he's going to blow up this. It's not going to really make a difference, though. You can't try to win more in every way at the same time. You gotta focus on one thing because you're gonna fo because you're gonna lose funds, doing other things, I'm um, lose time doing other things, and 